Hey everyone, JG here, also known as JG the Selfie Salesman, and today is a pretty cool day. I'm driving a pretty special vehicle. It's a 2019 Cadillac CT6 with the Super Cruise. Now, if you don't know what the Super Cruise is, it's the self-driving vehicle with uh, General Motors right now. So, uh, CT6 is the only vehicle that has it as of right now, but I know they're going to be incorporating it to other vehicles uh, to come down the line so this was the first one and I currently have the opportunity to drive it today um, and I just want to show you exactly how it works so right now we're on the 403 and I was just finishing a showing to a customer and of course he's going to take some time to see if he uh, obviously wants to buy it or not but while I have the opportunity I want to show you how it works so uh, I'm just trying to see if I can try to flip the camera around here okay so um, Here's the dash here, and here's how the actual steering wheel looks. You can see that there's a just kind of like this very gloss bar up here. Uh, if you can try to see it, now the camera's not really showing it well. But, however, when you look at the screen in the dash here, uh, you're going to see a little thing on the left top right hand corner, just uh, right beneath that uh, green little car there. So when I turn on the cruise control, you'll be able to see, and see how that steering wheel on the right hand side popped up as well too. You need to be in the center of the lane in order for it to be on. Once you see that, and you hit the little steering wheel here with the guidelines, it will then turn on the Super Cruise. So let's try to find that uh, center point again, hit the button, and then the steering wheel goes, or that uh, steering wheel goes green. Then also too, it will take over and uh, start driving itself. Now, the only thing about here is that it's telling me to take over because there was a split in the road. So see how we went off to Niagara Falls and we're going to Toronto back to the dealership. So we're going to try that again. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work on this section here because it kind of goes down to a two lane, but then it's going to go back to the highway again. So I think actually I just saw it pop up here. So we're just going to try it again. Make sure we're in the middle of the lane. Hit the button wait for it to pop up. I think it's also too is that car in front of us, but there's a lot of things that comes to it before it actually takes over. So it's currently, yeah, I think we need to be kind of going on that uh, straight away once we hit it uh, around this bend here, which I will be showing you guys because honestly, this is the coolest thing I've honestly ever experienced. I'm a big car nut and yeah, I, when my manager asked me to go take this vehicle to a customer, it was kind of a no-brainer. I was like, yep, you got it. I will absolutely take it. And of course, I wanted to try it while I was here. So, okay, so we're back on the highway. You can see we're back up to about uh, four to five lanes here. The steering wheel's there. And we're going to hit that. And there it is, green steering wheel. And again, as I mentioned, that steering wheel on the top there will go green as well. However, there seems to be an issue. I don't know why it's causing me to want to take over all the time, but I was trying it earlier and it was an absolute, absolute treat to try it. Okay, so I finally got it to come on and stay put. I uh, just want to make sure we have another splice coming up in the road here. I want to see what it's going to do. And yeah, it's, it's actually staying on. Okay, perfect. So yeah, this is how exactly how you work it. And you'll be able to set your distance or sorry, your speed as well too, just on the steering wheel. You can go up and down. And then it's, right now it's set to 30, 95 kilometers per hour. And again, it will adjust to, to the cars in front of you. But as you can see, my hands are not on the steering wheel whatsoever. My foot's not on the gas whatsoever. We're just coasting away on the highway and it's keeping a fair distance on the car in front of me. And you can again, set that to your distance indicator here, which will have three bars. Each bar is about uh, 10 meters ahead of you. So because we're on the farthest bar though, it's always gonna keep that uh, distance of three cars. Now, what's interesting is that this car is braking here and it's braking, it's braking, and this is really scary. Just having to have a car take over all the controls is by far the most weirdest thing. And honestly, I didn't know if it was gonna actually break, but you can see we're coming back to almost kind of a complete stop. It's just kind of bump, slowing down traffic there. But it's just letting me know, now I gotta take back over because, well one, this lane is going to end surely and there is the car as well too. So again, it's a very cool and interesting 
uh, vehicle to be driving and again I had a great opportunity driving it but that concludes the driving of the Cadillac CT6. Honestly, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Maybe I'll take some pictures of the outside just so you can see it. Um, beautiful vehicle, honestly. If I had uh, the liquid cash, I would be definitely buying one in a heartbeat. I was saying that to myself as I was driving up to the gentleman's house. Uh, just looking at this vehicle, honestly, it's, it's by far my favorite Cadillac vehicle in the lineup. I know Escalade and the XT5 and the new XT6 that just came out are beautiful vehicles as well, too. But I mean, the Cadillac CT6 is definitely one of those uh, executive vehicles that you would be happy and honored to show up at anywhere, any of your workplace and show it off. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment down below what you think and please leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I would really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.